Alrighty, what's up everyone? Uh, welcome to my morning muse, although it's uh, what, 10 past 11, so only just the morning at the moment. I'm Sebastian Quinn, if you haven't been following, thank you everyone for watching so far and getting some decent decent coverage on the past few videos, so hopefully you're enjoying them. If you have any topics or any suggestions you'd like me to actually talk about, uh, you can put it in the comments below and hit me up on Twitter, that's at Seb underscore Quinn. Is my hair okay? Yeah, so just constantly making sure I'm looking half decent. Um, I haven't shaved for a bit, which is kind of weird. I don't know, if you probably can't tell because I'm still Chinese and um, yeah, facial hair doesn't exactly come through that fast, but um, getting a bit patchy, so I'll probably clean up and look like a 12 year old again. Anyway, um, as I said, you can hit me up on Twitter, that's at Seb underscore Quinn, because today I'd like to kind of revisit uh, the HSC from, for me, it was 2013 when I graduated. And because um, my brother's just about to, wow, there's a person turning from the right lane here. Very interesting. Um, anyway, so we have the HSC coming up. My brother's uh, going to be doing it. I think it's in about four weeks time. So October 16 is his first exam. Uh, he's, you know, starts off with English, English, and then uh, legal later on in the week. Um, and so it's, you know, one of the, it's the penultimate, for those, actually, I, before I before I get into it, I really should preface this with, um, you know, for anyone who doesn't know what the HSC is in, um, you know, for overseas people who are watching from overseas, it's basically when you graduate from year 12, it's your final set of exams, and they kind of determine your GPA, so to speak, for which uh, college and which courses you can do. So, for example, like a law to study law at a high-end university such as, um, you know, University of New South Wales, uh, UTS and uh, so on, you need a, you know, a GPA or, you know, a final ATAR mark of, uh, either, of probably 99. And then for, you know, say something like journalism, for example, what I'm doing, uh, it's around about 80. So it's defined by uh, how hard the course is deemed by, um, you know, the people who set it by UAC. And then also by the supply and demand. Like if there's an under, if there's an under the supply of a certain area, such as possibly nursing, and then they'll decrease that ATAR to try and get people into it. Uh, if there's an oversupply, which is in, in the case of law, uh, you know, there's oversupply of lawyers, then uh, they. That's why they keep kind of bumping up the uh, ATAR mark for it. So um, they keep pushing it higher and higher. It's a bit interesting considering you can't really go much higher than 99 point you know, nine five really. So, um, yeah, interesting in that sense, but you see what I mean? So like the higher end, you know, the jobs that, you know, you end up getting paid millions of dollars for, um, are up there in terms of, uh, salary and also the ATAR mark to get into that. But I mean, that being said, to study law at UNSW, it's a six year degree, which is, which is a long time. <laughs> so, um, certainly not something I could do to myself. I do not want to spend that much time at university. Um, I was very happy to get out, my, or I will be happy to get out at the end of this semester. Um, so definitely can't wait on that, which will be interesting. But anyway, um, so I wanted to use this kind of this morning news to kind of look at you know my HSC experience, which was, um, I mean, it was good. I mean, I did fairly well. I'm not going to you know go out and blow out my mark and everything like that. But at the same time, um, you know, I did well enough to get into what I wanted. And it's just a it's a very stressful period of time. You know, it's pretty much a lot of people say that, you know, it isn't, you know, it isn't the be all and end all kind of into getting into college. But uh, for me, it is a lot easier path if you do well in school. And I mean, you know, school, obviously, you know, these kind of, you know, sit down assessment tasks aren't for everybody. And, you know, there's that meme of, uh, you know, it's basically like a goldfish, a giraffe and a lion and asking all three to like climb a tree. And obviously, you know, a giraffe's not going to be able to do that. A goldfish isn't going to be able to do that. So, um, you know, it's just a bit of a caricature kind of emphasizing the, you know, the differences in people. And, you know, I totally respect that. But at the same time, the way the system's built, um, you know, in this, you know, for better or for worse, the way it's built is to benefit those who do well, you know, in their HSC to actually go on and, you know, on, you know straight into university. You know, I do have a few friends who um, didn't do so well, didn't make their course cut off and, you know, went into TAFE for a year and then transferred into uni, which is, you know, another viable option. And, um, you know, if anything, depending on the course you take, you know, TAFE would be a, a far better option in terms of, you know, actual education. So, um, you know, for me, like for journalism, a lot of, you know, UNSW doesn't do a lot of hands-on work. So I feel like TAFE or a, um, you know, a tertiary, a college of some sort, um, you know, who knows, might've been even better for me instead of, instead of actually university. So that's, I mean, that's another debate for another day, but um, that's just the system that we're working in. 
Uh, so the way it's set up is basically the the exam period lasts for about a month and a half from memory. So it's essentially all of October and then half of November. And I was lucky enough to have my, my last exam on October 31st. And then the next day I turned 18 um, on November 1st. So it was quite a, quite a spectacular finish, if I do say so myself. Very, very fortunate not to have an exam on my 18th birthday. Um, but yeah, it was, you know, I mean, it's a lot of work, but you do have, a, it is like whole two years of content. And uh, naturally the emphasis, uh, the emphasis in the end is on the, uh, the year 12 segment of um, content that you're going to be learning. But they, you know, they do touch on the stuff from year 11. Um, but yeah, so it's an intense, you know, month of study and, you know, it's kind of hard to, you know, you really need to set up a timetable so you don't over, you know, overdo yourself. Uh, you really have to take things, you know, you have to take it slow so you don't, you know, overwork yourself and get too anxious and nauseous. But at the same time, you know, you really got to, you know, someone's got to kick you up the ass and say, listen, you know, this sort of thing will make your life so much easier if you do it, um, you know, if you do well in it. So, um, yeah, my timetable, I had like four, ex I had four exams to start off with. So from memory, it was English, English, legal, PE. And then I had, <clears throat> so that was on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then the Monday after that, I had maths. And then the Thursday after that, I had extension English. And then the Monday following that, which I believe was the 31st, I had um, studies of religion, uh, which, yeah, which was SOR. So, um, not the worst timetable. I did know some people who actually had uh, two exams on the same day, which I could not imagine wanting to do for um, you know for my HSC like that would just be absolute overload and I mean at the same time you do have a full month to actually study for these things but at the same time you know to go from one have like a two hour break and then go straight into another um, you know you're asking a lot from a you know 17 18 year old so it's a bit um you know it's a bit it's a bit tricky in that sense and you have to feel bad you know you kind of feel for the people who do have that sort of thing but um, at the same time you know if you you have plenty of preparation going into it you know it's a lot of it's a lot of knowledge to then you know regurgitate almost and analyze within the one day but um, you know you just I mean really all you can do is hope for the best at that point so um, yeah but the HSC for me it was you know I mean it certainly was an enjoyable experience but it was so funny pretty much as soon as I uh, graduated year 12 my skin just cleared up straight away you know touch touch wood uh, nothing happens but um, you know I used to have like n my uh, you know pimples wasn't terrible like wasn't you know really really bad acne but um, you know definitely you know if you're on my you know cheek forehead and whatnot and you know cleared up in the end but it was so weird because as soon as I graduated the next day I just woke up and my skin was just so clean so um, you know really speaks to the amount of stress that um, that you're under and probably how bad I was eating as well you know just stress eating a lot of chocolate and ice cream and actually no ice cream um, that was the one thing that um, I did do as like a self-discipline kind of thing it was um yeah, I told myself not to eat any ice cream for the entire year, which, I mean, in the end didn't make too much sense considering I just ended up eating a lot more chocolate to replace it. Um, but yeah, it was, it was uh, yeah, no ice cream for that year, which was, um, yeah, disappointing. You know, obviously my stomach was not happy with that decision, but, you know, you live and you learn, I guess. Um, but yeah, so the HSC, I guess, you know, wish my brother the best of luck and I think he'll do okay. He wants to go into exercise and sports uh, science, you know, go into that sort of area. We're looking at UNSW, which uh, <clears throat> would have been good, but once again, he was, he, you know, he'd be coming in as I was leave, as I'm leaving. So, um, you know, not, it doesn't work like that. Cause that in, you know, we first thought, oh, you know, I'll just drive in with my brother and we'll both leave at the same time. But um, yeah, it didn't work like that, obviously. So it was a, what's going on? So this guy's driving incredibly slow, but there's cars on the left-hand side. Anyway, um, yeah, so he wants to go into that, went to UNSW and uh, they had exercise and sports physiology, which ends up being more of the, you know, the physiological side of, uh, you know, of the kind of exercise and sports science rather than, you know, a very open branch. So, um, yeah, he didn't exactly want to do that. And I'm going to scoot past this guy before he slows down again. And so basically, yeah, wants to go into that. I think he should do well, you know, very much enjoys the a very balanced side of PE, you know, wants a bit of bo best of both worlds. So here's looking at UTS. They do have exercise and sports science. And then if you do one more year on top of that, you, goes into, uh, you can do management. So it's essentially a dual degree uh, within two year period. So it works out pretty well in that sense. So um, yeah, but HSC, you know, you just got to put your head down, work as hard as possible, you know, manage, you know, balance it, you know, go out still, don't, you know, kill yourself. 
you know, a lot of people, I feel like looking back, I, um, you know, could have put in that little bit more, a little bit more effort. Um, you know, there were a few days where I was, you know, just lounging around doing nothing and you kind of need that as well just to relax and unwind. But, um, at the same time, you know, don't, <clears throat> don't feel like, um, you know, you should be taking this easy because, you know, like I said, you know, there are p- other ways to get into university, but at the same time, you know, if you're doing well in your ATO and getting good, you know, good HSC mark it makes your life so much easier. Like, you do not have to worry about anything. You go to UAC, click, I want to do this. I have the mark to get it and I can now do it instead of going through all these alternate pathways. So, um, we'll leave it there. Anyway, thank you for listening. Uh, hopefully, this will be a bit of a shorter video and I apologize for the dipping quality. I'm currently using the iPhone. Uh, I realized that my OnePlus 5, the front-facing camera is so good that the... Um, the quality of it is huge like the last video was almost a gigabyte um, because it is uh, it is recording in 1080p high you know high dynamic range and all that sort of thing so I'll move back to the iPhone for now and then I'll work out how to uh, reduce the quality on the on the one plus for the next video um, but thank you for listening if you have any suggestions for me to talk on uh, topics for me to talk on uh, leave them in the comments below or hit me up on Twitter. That's at Seb underscore Quinn and um, I can jump on that and that will be coming. Tomorrow is Wednesday, so I won't be driving and that'll be coming out Thursday. So I will see you all then.